Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today, I just watched the Questier Girls Legends of Everfree, and it was good. A lot of things stood out to me in this movie, so many in fact that I plan on reviewing it in a week or two. Though out of everything in this movie, the thing that surprised me the most was the fact that the staff decided to try adding a love interest again. So today, I will be comparing and contrasting Flash Century and Flash Century version 2.0. Keep in mind that this analysis will contain massive spoilers for Equestria Girls Legends of Everfree, but with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Many of you probably know that I really liked the pony version of Flash Sentry. From the few minutes we got to see of him, he seemed like an interesting and dynamic character, but I can see why people really hate the human version of Flash. His main problem is that he's way too dull. His two personality traits are that he's extremely nice and that he's extremely cool, which basically makes him the biggest Mary Sue in the entire series. Unfortunately, Timber Spruce suffers from these same problems. He's not very well fleshed out, and he's characterized mostly as being nice and cool, but luckily, they actually gave him more than two personality traits. In addition to being nice and cool, he has a very cynical sense of humor, which leads to some hilarious moments in the movie. He's also a bit of a prankster, which makes him a lot more interesting than Mr. Goody Two Sues over here. So his personality is a definite improvement over Flash Centuries. This fact is highlighted by their character relationships. In the first Equestria Girls movie, Flash Sentry only ever interacted with Twilight Sparkle. This caused us to never learn anything about him. Luckily, Timber Spruce vastly avoids this issue. Throughout Legend of Everfree, Timber Spruce has several conversations with his sister Gloriosa and Sunset Simmer. This allows us to learn a lot more about who Timber Spruce really is, an asset that Flash Sentry never had. Another problem I had with Flash Sentry is the fact that he suffers from something I call generic kindness. He was always nice in the most cliched and boring ways possible. For example, when he helps Twilight get off the floor in the beginning of the first movie. There's nothing inherently wrong with this action, but the fact that he never does anything interesting with his good deeds makes this generic kindness. Timber Spruce doesn't suffer from generic kindness through his interactions with his sister Gloriosa. Despite knowing that her actions are wrong, Timber still protects and stands up for her. This says that Timber has a deep love for his family, which unlike Flash Sentry, is actually interesting to watch. The final problem I had was with the time dedicated to each of the relationships. In the first movie, the romance between Flash and Twilight was mentioned many times, yet it was only featured in two or three scenes. This caused it to be both overused and underused at the same time. I guess the writers forgot to sew, not tell. Once again, this problem is greatly improved upon in Legend of Everfree. The romance between Timber and Twilight is made much less important in this movie. Despite this, the two of them appear together in about a third of the scenes throughout the film. This allows the viewer to see their relationship grow realistically, unlike the love at first sight that occurred in the first movie. So what are my overall thoughts on Timber Spruce? Well, unfortunately, he's far from an amazing character. He suffers from nearly all the same problems that Flash did in the first movie. But luckily, when you take a closer look, in nearly all areas, Timber is an improvement over Flash, which shows that the writers are learning. I'm fairly sure that the fandom's gonna end up beating this guy down as much as they did Flash Century, which is unfortunate because he has a ton of potential to be an amazing character. I can only imagine the innumerable amount of possibilities that could happen if the writers chose to make him a main character in the inevitable next movie. So with that, he gets my personal seal of approval. But what did you think? Did you like Timber Spruce? Did you like Flash Century? How would you compare the two? Did you like Equestria Girls Legend of Everfree? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be alerted of my future videos. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye! Well, it's time for me to start researching Spike. Get ready for a two-parter.